Hi, boys and girls. I hope everybody is doing well and having fun with their families. Uh, it's so nice to be able to connect with everybody this way. I think you're probably wondering, why is Miss Foley wearing gloves and a toque inside her house? Hmm. The reason that I'm wearing a toque and gloves inside my house is that I woke up this morning and I was really, really excited for to see the sunshine and to get out in my garden. And I went to the window and I opened the window. <gasps> Guess what I saw? I didn't see sun. I didn't see rain. There was lots of snow. Can you believe it? Snow in April. Springtime is a funny time of year and we can definitely have all different kinds of weather, but I was not expecting snow this morning. And to tell you the truth, I do not want any more snow. I love winter, love winter, but I'm ready for springtime. And while I was thinking about how I'm not happy to be wearing my hat and happy to be wearing gloves and snowsuits anymore, I had a connection to a story that I'd like to read to you. So get a comfy spot. And I think you're gonna know my connection pretty quickly. Are you ready? The story is Thomas's Snowsuit. Thomas's Snowsuit is written by my very favorite author, who is, if you said Robert Munch, you are right. Thomas's Snowsuit is written by Robert Munch and pictures by Michael Marchenko. And the illustrator is Anik Press. And they said that we can read this story to you. So here we go, Thomas's snowsuit. And I think you're gonna know my connection pretty quickly. One day, Thomas's mother bought him a nice brown snowsuit. When Thomas saw that snowsuit, he said, that is the ugliest thing I have ever seen in my life. If you think I'm gonna wear that snowsuit, you are crazy. Thomas's mother said, we'll see about that. The next day, when it was time to go to school, Thomas's mother said, Thomas, please put on your snowsuit. You know what Thomas said? No. <gasps> it's not very nice to say no to your mom. You should never say no to your mom. But he does not look happy to see that snowsuit. That's kind of how I felt this morning. Are you seeing my connection? His mother jumped up and down and she said, Thomas, put on that snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. So Thomas's mother picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight. And when it was done, Thomas was in his snowsuit, but he does not look happy. He does not look happy to be in that snowsuit. Thomas's mother went off to school and hung up his snowsuit. Sorry, Thomas went off to school and hung up his snowsuit. And it was when it was time to go outside, all the other kids jumped into their snowsuits and ran out the door, but not Thomas. The teacher looked at Thomas and said, Thomas, Please put on your snowsuit. Thomas said, no. The teacher jumped up and down and said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And Thomas said, no. Ugh. Yikes. Oh mm, dear. He is not happy. I can tell his arms are crossed, his face is scrunchy. He is not happy. So the teacher picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the snowsuit in the other hand, and she tried to stick them together. They had an enormous fight. And when they were done, the teacher was wearing Thomas's snowsuit and Thomas was wearing the teacher's dress. Are you ready to see this funny picture? <laughs> it's a pretty funny picture. When the teacher saw what she was wearing, she picked up Thomas in one hand and they and tried to get him back into his snowsuit. 
They had an enormous fight. And when they were done, the snowsuit and the dress were tied into a great big knot on the floor. And Thomas and the teacher were in their underclothes. Just then, the door opened and in walked the principal. The teacher said, it's Thomas. He won't put on his snowsuit. I think you're gonna laugh at this picture. <laughs> Oh, pretend this is Mr. Goheen. The principal gave his very best principal look and said, Thomas, put on your snowsuit. And what do you think Thomas said? No. Ooh, I don't think Mr. Goheen would be very happy about that. So the principal picked up Thomas in one hand, picked up the teacher in the other hand, and tried to get them back into their clothes. When he was done, the principal was wearing the teacher's dress, the teacher was wearing the principal's suit, and Thomas was still in his underwear. Then from far out in the playground, someone yelled, Thomas, come out and play. Thomas ran across the room jumped into his snowsuit, got in his boots, in two seconds, and ran out the door. Oh, hmm, that's all it took. The principal looked at the teacher and said, hey, you have on my suit, take it off right now. The teacher said, oh no, you have on my dress, take it off first. Well, they argued and argued and argued, but neither one of them wanted to change first. Finally, Thomas came in from recess and he looked at the principal and he looked at the teacher. Thomas picked up the principal in one hand. He picked up the teacher in the other hand. They had an enormous fight. And Thomas got everybody back in their clothes. <laughs> This is funny. The next day, the principal quit his job and he moved to Arizona where it was very hot and nobody ever had to wear a snowsuit. The end. Thomas's snowsuit. So now I think you can see my connection. I was kind of feeling like Thomas too. I did not want to wear a snowsuit. I don't think I'm gonna to have to wear a snowsuit today but it is snowing pretty good i'm hoping the sun will come out this afternoon and we can get get outside and do some fun things and i hope everybody has a really great easter weekend um if you have a connection to this story or a funny part a favorite part maybe you could tell one someone in your family uh, maybe you can even draw a picture and post it online so i can see it okay have a great weekend everybody happy easter hopefully lots of sun and no more snow Bye.